Time to feed the trolls. Season four. Hello, this is Cute Fuzzy Weasel, and it's time once again to feed the trolls. Now, there are three reasons why I'm putting this episode out so soon after the last one. One is that I'm really trying to put more of these things out. Like, I'm really going to push to have at least two come out a month. Having a little bit more of a regular schedule is something I'm really going to try and push for this year. Two, the last episode was kind of... Eh. I mean, some people liked it, but there were some people who didn't really like it, and I understand. You kind of have to live here to understand why we might be upset with Pat McCory. Although, I don't get why- you guys don't like the background? It's- it's a- it's a pizza star. Get it? I mean, look- if you look at it, it's like a- it's a star pizza. And third, and this is actually the most important, and why it's coming out this week instead of, you know, like one every two weeks, it's because I have something else planned for this month that's actually, like, a big, bigger thing. I don't want to go into too much about what it is, it's just, you know, it's... It might take a little more time than the average Feeding the Trolls to do. Anyway, I'm not sure who really did this week's video. I mean, I know who it is, I just don't know who to call him. He's either this name or this name. Or maybe he's both and it's just an older channel. I really haven't had that much... Like, it's kind of hard to get information on him. Is the background not flashy enough? Anyway, we're going to be doing his video, Let's Ban Alcohol in America, The Real Terrorist Killer. I think it's time that we ban alcohol. Okay, dude, honestly, the lighting that you're using, y you look dead. And if you are a zombie, I don't know why you'd want to ban alcohol. I would think that would keep you preserved. We should make alcohol illegal. Th that would be the definition of banning it, yes. People are saying that alcohol is good for your health. But new studies are out saying the people that drink a glass of wine every day, that are really healthy, it has nothing to do with the glass of wine. It's the fact that they live the type of lifestyle where they can sit and have a glass of wine every day. You know, I mean, I guess statistically, yeah, if you're drinking a glass of wine every day, you're probably more well-to-do, but... You know, it's not that unaffordable a substance, right? I mean, I don't know if you've been to a gas station recently, but they sell little plastic wine bottle things with a little foil top that you can... And it's like, you know, it's like Shutter Homes and stuff in there. And they sell them for like $2. I mean, I'm pretty sure we don't live in the Dark Ages and people who drink wine are like royalty and those who can't drink wine are like peasants digging around in the mud. So it's less about the glass of wine and more that they have a lifestyle where they can purchase wine. They have enough money to have wine with a meal and the consciousness to be caring about their health. That's rather elitist. So I guess those ugly, pathetic, poor people just don't give a shit about their health. I mean, they'll fucking eat garbage. <laughs> I don't actually want to do that because I think there is mold in there. But of course I would care whether or not I eat mold because I'm not poor. And the time to sit and relax and drink. Again, you don't have to be rich to have time to sit around and do nothing and drink. That is a pastime which transcends all classes. They could be drinking warm water. There's a fun thing to do to pass the time. Sit around and drink lukewarm water. Just the fact that they are doing that. So, so I don't think there's really a big health issue with helping with wine. Any sort of alcohol for that matter. Some people claim to be moderate drinkers. That would be me, yes. I do enjoy a beer or a cider on occasion, like maybe once a week or once every two weeks. So I would be a moderate drinker, yes. Most everybody I know um, has a drinking problem. Okay, well, most everyone I know doesn't. So we're balanced out there. Most of society in America has a drinking problem. Bunch of stinking drunks. Hey, I bathe regulationally! Uh, friends, family, I used to be one of them until I got sick and couldn't drink anymore and pulled myself out of this cloud. Ah, you're one of them. You're one of the people who says, because I made this horrible mistake, no one else should be able to do something. It's like the people that used to trot out in front of us when we were in D.A.R.E. You know, those guys who were like ex-burnouts that did like all kinds of heinous, horrible shit and almost died. And then they stand there going, yeah, 
So trust me when I tell you, one joint and you'll be like me. It's the kind of thing where they just assume because they didn't have any self-control that nobody's got self-control. I couldn't stop drinking till my liver almost failed, therefore nobody can stop drinking until their liver almost fails. Of drunkenness and escapism. Escapism, like alcohol, in moderation, is not bad. Now it's true, like being an extreme alcoholic, you could be an extremely isolated, disconnected person who does nothing but loaf around and, and doesn't really pay attention to anything. That would be escapism to a fault. But there's really nothing wrong with having a nice cold beer after a long day of, like, tedium just to take the edge off. So again, sorry you didn't have any self-control, but the rest of us in normal society are more than capable of having a few drinks and not going off the deep end. It's really sick and it's really sad. Let's ban alcohol. Save millions. How do you figure? If anything, banning alcohol would be a disastrous waste of money. We would spend trillions of dollars shutting down every single bar. There would be countless jobs lost. Not to mention the amount of money we'd have to funnel into our already militarized police force to keep the crowds of rioters at bay. There's a reason the mob got so big in the 30s. You do not solve substance abuse issues by banning the substance. And all the drunk driving fatalities, millions of people die, lives are ruined. If you're really interested in stopping traffic fatalities, I would recommend banning cell phones instead of alcohol. You know, if it wasn't for alcohol, the prisons would be almost empty. How the... I, no? Where do you get that fucking idea? The reason we have massive prison overpopulation is because of prohibition. All banning alcohol is gonna do is cause people to try and get drunk off of other less safe things. Like radiator gin or toilet wine. Because of all the crimes people do, all doped up and drugged up on alcohol and drugs. Or rather, all the crimes they do while trying to get high. And subsequently, all of those people who are in prison for getting high. And alcohol's the worst. Alcohol's horrible. It's a killer. Yes, alcohol is a killer if you drink too much of it. Just like cigarettes are a killer if you fucking smoke too much. Actually, comparatively, cigarettes are way worse than alcohol. How come you're not talking about banning them? We built our society. It's our religion. It's one of America's religions. Oh, wow. Tat, we're so profound. OMG. So let's ban alcohol. Are you ready? Wait, so to you, not only would we be banning a substance, we'd be banning a religion? Okay, Mr. Nazi, let's go for it. Because all alcoholics drink booze. Wait out the phone. Let's wait out the phone. Okay. All right. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I... The line I'm gonna say is no shit, okay? It's no shit. All alcoholics drink booze. Just look at his fucking face. Look at his face. He's, he means it. All alcoholics drink booze. Booze. Yeah, yeah, I, I guess they do. It's like, it's, it's like someone saying, all drug users use drugs. Okay, all right, okay, let's back, back.
to the video, back to the video. All booze drinkers aren't alcoholics, but all alcoholics are booze drinkers. Okay, dude, where are you going? Of course we can't ban it. We tried. America was so sick of alcohol. We tried to ban it, what, 60, 70 years ago? Two things. One, that's a gross oversimplification of prohibition. And two, I, I think it was more like 80 years ago, but wh whatever, whatever. We couldn't do it because America was so addicted to alcohol that we, that we overturned the law. We just drank it anyway, even though we could go to prison for it. You know, other animals get fucking drunk too. And I don't mean they do it accidentally. I mean they choose to get drunk. But that's neither here nor there because Prohibition failed because it was stupid. And it was doomed to be a failure from the start. It wasn't because America was addicted or it lacked the zeal. It's that it was just an unfeasible law. You can try that anywhere. Fuck, there are people who find booze in Iran. So don't give me this spiel. It's like, oh, we're just subconsciously addicted and oh my god we're we just can't fucking help it we're just so weak wheel the the booze boot is on our back fuck you again sorry you have no self-control doesn't mean the rest of us don't america fought it and made illegal booze and now we're just this big drunk nation but of course we're not going to stop drinking <clears throat> wanting to ban alcohol would be like saying you know terrorism's a bad thing all Muslims aren't terrorists, but all terrorists are Muslims. The oh, fuck are you? What? I swear, I cut nothing out of this video. This is as I found it. So, I have no idea where this is even coming from. So let's ban Muslims. Let's ban the Quran. All Americans aren't drunks. All Muslims aren't terrorists. Somehow booze got us here. Maybe it is bad. Most Americans aren't drunks. Most Muslims aren't terrorists. Oh, buddy, man. I got your back, dude. I'm... What? What? Again, I swear, I cut nothing out of the video. Drinking my, like, medicinal wine. And it feels really good because I'm saving my life. Man, if you got that drunk off of one glass of wine before you quit drinking, your liver was shot from the start. Where are my car keys? Are they right there? You're in your house, dude. I know, right? I'm trying to find the keys to my house, man. Actually, I shouldn't make fun. He might live in an RV. But then if he's too poor to live in a proper house, then where does he get the extravagant funds to buy a bottle of wine? Urgh, this is most perplexing. But I got you back. We're like so tight. Did I tell you that I got you back? You're like total my bro. And he crap goes down, and I'm like, you and me were like, totally, did I tell you that I love you? And I got you back. Drinking's great, man. Again, one glass did this to you? Wait. <laughs> ah, you barfed right on your weird dog skeleton statue. Anyway, that was... I guess Clive in America? If you have any trolls you want me to feed, list them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And as always, have a good day. Hand that to me and see if you can toss it back up here. <laughs> you aren't serious. I am serious. I want to see. <sighs> Blech.